Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. Don't you think it would be an idea to name the ship Dolphin? All right, if that would make you happy. So you've got something on your mind, I guess. Well, nothing really serious. Guess what? What? Could you please stop flipping the channels? I'm very sorry. How about this opera given by the famous musician? Fair to middling. A little hard to appreciate. You're all set now? Oh, thank you so much. Really, it was nothing. I really appreciated it. I was happy to help. It was so kind of you. Don't mention it. You're a real friend in need. How did you first meet Jack each other? That is a heavy raining afternoon. I was standing under the eaves of a shop to evade the heavy rain. It's getting dark. And then? I was trembling in the wind when he ran to me with an umbrella in his hand and asked, Where is your home? Then he sent you to your home? Yeah. It's a romantic meeting. I can say that a hero saves a beauty. He joked later that I was so poor that he had a kind of impulse to protect an ant. He is so humorous. I am so busy today. Can I help you? I'm not sure. Perhaps you could do the shopping. I'll be glad to help. Or maybe make the beds. All you have to do is ask for help. Thanks. That's terrific. I'm ready and willing to help. All right, everyone settle down. Let's get started. As you know, an important aspect of becoming a good citizen is understanding the genesis of our legal system. It is not enough to simply memorize our laws. It is necessary that we comprehend why and how they were formed. This brings me to our topic for today. Does anyone know what we celebrate on May 1st? Cinco de Mayo? No, that's May 5th in Spanish, James. No wonder you are failing my Spanish class. No, May 1st is International Workers' Day. Do we get a day off from school then? No. It is not considered to be a national holiday here in the U.S., but in other countries it is. WWW, man. In the 19th century, working conditions were appalling, with workers being forced to work 10, 12, and 14 hours a day. Support for the 8-hour workday movement was growing rapidly. Despite the indifference and hostility of many union leaders, and by April 1886, 250,000 workers were involved in the May Day movement. Previous legislative attempts to improve working conditions had failed, so labor organizers took drastic measures. They passed a resolution stating that eight hours would constitute a legal day's work. And, on May 1, 1886, the resolution took effect. Cool. Is that why we only work eight hours now? Yes. But the happy ending came at a high price. On May 3, 1886, police fired into a crowd of strikers at the McCormick Reaper Works factory, killing four and wounding many. A mass meeting was called for the next day to protest the brutality. And then what happened? Well, as we say, the rest is history.
What did he say? He said he would tell us the secret of becoming a successful man. It's too good to be true. If I were there, I would ask him if he himself was a successful man. Nobody would drive him up a wall by asking him such a question, you know. What did you do this weekend, Kate? Oh, Diane and I went for a drive in the country on Saturday. That sounds nice. Where did you go? We drove to the lake and had a picnic. We had a great time. How about you? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just worked on my car all day. That old thing. Why don't you just buy a new one? But then what would I do every weekend? Hi, Tom. Fancy seeing you here. It's a nice party, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's quite some days since we were together last summer. How is everything going? Quite well. I got my MA degree two weeks ago. Congratulations. Hey, you want to see a movie tomorrow? Sounds like a good plan. What do you want to see? How about Legally Blonde? Ah, my girlfriend wanted to see that movie. I have to take her later so I don't want to watch it ahead of time. How about The Cube? Isn't that a scary movie? How scary can it be? Come on, it'll be fun. Okay, I'll give it a try. That's the spirit. I'll see you tomorrow after class. Okay. See you tomorrow. Congratulations. I heard that you are going to take a two week training course in the headquarter. Thank you. I am very happy to have this opportunity to learn something new. You know, information and knowledge in this field update very fast. Sure, it is. This is a changing world. Does the training course cover the new law and regulation issued last month? They are very useful for us. Yes, according to the agenda, there will be a seminar on these issues at the very beginning of the training course. Well, good for you. I hope you can get what you want from the training. I will do my best. How about you and Tom? What time is your wedding? Don't be kidding, okay? What's the matter? So angry. I'm just playing a joke with you. Because I have given him up as a bad job. Our relation has been over. Excuse me. Is this seat taken? No, it's all yours. Thank you very much. My name is Ashlyn. It's nice to meet you. Carson, it's nice to meet you, too. The weather is so warm for December, don't you think? It is unusually warm. I blame it on global warming. Global warming is wreaking havoc everywhere. So sure. Are you from around here? No, I'm new here. I just moved here a few months ago. Where are you from? I'm from China. What about you? I am from Texas. I was in China once, but it was a long time ago. Did you enjoy it? I did. I especially liked the food. What do you think about the food here? It's very different from Chinese food, but I am getting used to it. Is that the Da Vinci Code that you've got there? Yes. Have you read it? No, but I saw the movie. What do you think about it? Well, to be honest, 
I've only gotten though 10 pages of it. So far, though, it's interesting. Well, this is my stop. It was nice talking with you. Likewise. Bye. People say that you never have a real winter in the South China, but I don't think so. Why? I did experience a winter with snow in Kunming, the spring city. With snow in Kunming? That's crazy. I absolutely love what you're wearing today. You do? I just bought this outfit a couple days ago. Seriously, it looks really nice on you. Where did you buy it from? I bought it from the Macy's at the Santa Anita Mall. I really like that outfit. Thanks. I think you look nice today, too. Thank you. I just bought these new shoes earlier today. Those are nice. What are they? These are some chucks. Those are great. How much were they? I got them for 40. I think I might go and find me my own pair of chucks. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy-to-follow, free, educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.